Hello. Namaste. Oh, welcome to my channel. I'm so honored that you're here. I'm going to do a one card pick. I'm going to give a collective intuitive reading. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I will talk a little louder. I decided to um, pop in. It's been a lot of amazing new and very strong energy flowing through me and I believe I am you and you are me and we're all experiencing this magical shift in the universe and the energy and the ancestors are really walking with us and talking to us and I'm just understanding that whenever I'm wanting to do something and I can't do it be okay with that Whenever I'm wanting to do something and the energy is saying, just be still, don't do it, it's not time, take a nap, rest, go read a book, listen to those quiet messages and those messages are for your spirit is the understanding of, I'm hearing that again, Rome wasn't built in, in a day and you know, Rome wasn't built by itself either, you know, so I'm hearing Get support. Ask, you shall receive. Ask, you shall receive. There's a lot of people out there that I know. Um, collectively, I know we're very compassionate. That's why I chose this card um, deck, um, Kuan Yan. I know we're all very compassionate beings and we're always looking out for others and nurturing others. And this is a year of really tapping in into self-nurturing. So I wanted Kuan Yan to, I was asking the ancestors, you know, what card deck should I use today? And this one came. Weave the future golden. Weave the future golden. So fitting, so very fitting. Weave the future golden. I'm gonna go ahead and do some reading. I really love that. What number is that? I don't see a number, a uh, number. Oh, of course, 44. I've been seeing 44 everywhere. 44 has been just showing up and that's an eight which is infinite unlimited possibilities and 44 happens to be the last card in the deck and oh i'm so excited it has taken all day for to come to this moment and i do need my glasses and i'm over here in the northwest so i'm so excited about <clears throat> excuse me coming to this moment because I know that that is going to propel me to the next moment. And the next one, because once I start doing, being in the flow, I say doing and being in the flow of spirit and the ancestors, then usually I can do two or three, um, two or three hours of lovely tarot card and oracle card readings, usually. And that, to me, is just so much fun. Okay, let's get to this lovely moment in time. Weave the future golden. Sometimes good, something good is coming your way. Kuan Yin urges you to weave your future into the present moment, to call in and draw to the opportunities, teachings, and circumstances, synchronicities awaiting for you. That will enable your soul to live in divine destiny with greater abundance, bliss, and creative fulfillment. Do you know how much the divine wishes to support and assist you to live in your heart's truth this lifetime? Kuan Yan, with grace and compassion, wishes to help you ascend to the next level of your life expression so that your soul life will shine more brightly on the planet and help you and others bring beings to live with your heart and less fear. I was just speaking with that today about walking and being in less fear so that you can walk toward 
the beautiful dreams and the passion and the desires that you have in your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can choose to live a life Excuse me. Infused with the golden energy of peace, prosperity, joy, and creativity. A future so golden of being woven into your present moment now. Like tapestry with the choices and actions that make in that you make in this moment. You call into beings the divine and golden tapestry of future bliss. Clever you. Quan Yan is aware that there are opportunities in assisting assistance awaiting for you in your future embodiment. She wishes to assist you in drawing the future gifts into the present moment where you can be of most use to you. This article indicates that there is something special waiting in the wings for you and if you wish to do so you can receive healing and it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, elevate your vibration so that you are able to receive it more readily. If you've been holding a secret wish in your heart Perhaps to publish a book or to be a healer, to teach or to write a song, to attract a loving soulmate partnership, or to spiritually awaken to a deeper level. Take a moment to feel what it would be like if that heartfelt wish to manifest right now. Can you imagine the joy of it? Can you also allow for the joy to be such a normal ordinary occurrence that it will be a part of your life right now? This is how you begin to weave this manifestation into this moment. Be bold, dream big, and imagine what it would be, what it would feel like to live your dreams. Can you begin to cultivate these feelings now inter introspective of whether you see the manifestation in physical form or, or not as yet? Sitting with joy in your heart, <clears throat> excuse me, whether it relates to something significant or not, is magnet to good that the universe wishes to deliver to you. It is like switching your inner light on a higher voltage so that the special opportunities perfect for you can find their way to you more swiftly. And if, you, and if your great good comes in, and an unexpected form, but still feels wonderful, accept it. Your future golden will come into your life in the most beautiful ways. And usually, if it's not exactly as you imagined it, it is even more perfect for us. Holy moly. Just saying that today. I'm speaking with another beautiful um, healer and being. And in 2022, I started doing tarot cards. It was in the Lion's Gate. And here it is in 2024, the Lion's Gate is coming back around, um, <clears throat> I think, August 8th. And I am, those step, that big jump, that big risk, <laughs> getting out there in the world was needed. And the little steps that I've taken along the way have been like that turtle energy. One step at a time, one foot at a time, one moment at a time. Sometimes sitting back and doing nothing and being present. And then at other times being very aware and focused. So I just wanted to share this moment in time with you. Weave the golden future golden. I remember in 2022, I was, it was a feeling that we are no longer having to collectively be dreaming of what we want collectively we are all living the dream that we want now see it believe it know it my heart to your heart thank you for joining me if you're interested in any private readings i do have a special going on i don't have that advertised anywhere but if you get this um video and you email me at author Raquel at Gmail. That's author Raquel at Gmail. I will give you 50% off of a spread, a card spread, and just say you heard it here, whether you see it on my Instagram or my YouTube, most likely my YouTube. I think this is too long for Instagram. <laughs> 
Namaste. My heart is always honored when you join me. And my heart and the ancestors are always dancing with you. My heart to your heart.